Yo guys, this is Buddy here and welcome to another tutorial video. Um, in this video I wanted to show you how to snowball a single lane, in this case top lane. And um, what I think during a gank, how I gank and stuff like that, because people asked for it. So as you can see, I am playing Rek'Sai. Enemy jungler is um, Lily, so we pretty much don't wanna want to meet Lily in the early game because she's gonna gonna kill us pretty easily if she finds us. Um, as you can see we have Zyra and Ezreal. Zyra and Ezreal have a really easy time doing Grum just because yeah just because Zyra. Zyra is super strong and taking the first camp early on. That's um, why I decided to start Crux. Start the game right here. Speed it up a little. Four times. As you can see I'm setting Crux. And I tell them in the chat to do Grump because they have Zyra. And that's really easy to do with her. Um, let's only put my vision on. And skip to where I get the pull. Alright, um, this one because bot lane warded I can see that they probably won't be able to do Grump as uh, Brand is going to disturb them. So they're going to stop that and not continue it, if I remember correctly. Alright, let's stop it and try to take Bran, which doesn't work, and they go to lane. Meanwhile, Trano's giving me the pull. Um, my plan is... I'm, my first thought was that I want to gank top lane. This top lane is pretty easy to gank. With Rek'Sai you can stop um, Nurse Jump, and you also have another CC, which is Trano's Pillar depending on when he takes the level to a level 3. But, yeah, let's, let's continue. At this point, I, um, well, I started Crux, go to um, Raptors and then do Red, so I can smite Red and still at high, uh, stay at high IP without using too many pots. While I'm doing that camp, or while going to Red, I can see that top lane is already trading a lot by looking at their um, health bars right here. That's what I always do when I'm doing camps. And I tell him with a ping that I'm gonna do red and then come top lane. <laughs> yeah, they're trading even more, nearly killing each other. I'm doing red. And after red, I will immediately go top lane. Um, mostly people do not expect to gank that early because it's a really fast kill. If I would have started Grump, then do blue and then do red, that would have taken like, I don't know, 10 to 15 seconds longer maybe. And that's normally when people expect the first gank on top lane and not at a timing that is like 10 to 15 seconds earlier. Right, I'm doing the last creep here. See that are already really low. And at this point I'm already pretty sure that we're gonna get an easy kill on him. Um, okay, I'm gonna slow this down now. Alright, Trunnel's chasing him. I go to him. He just uses. Okay, that's where he uses his jump. Alright. The thing is, I'm not sure why I didn't use my Q here to get an easy assist. The reason why I don't go right below him to knock him up is if I go below him, he's gonna flash over me and he's gonna force me to use my flash too because I already used my, my tunnel. That's why I stay like a meter or something below him. Because that way, if he tries to flash over me, I'm gonna still be under him to knock him up and I uh, can kill him without flash. So that's why I stay below him and let Trundle just hit him. So if he flashes that direction he won't be able to get away. I could just queue him and have my uh, next tunnel up and stuff like that. So sadly I didn't get an assist here, but Trundle gets a really easy kill. And um, at this point if we look at the scoreboard we can see that um, Nara has teleport and the lane is still pushed in favor of Trundle. This is, I think I told him by chat to not push the lane because I'm pretty sure that he's gonna use teleport in a few seconds when he lifts again. So I'm doing scuttle crab. And I see the teleport incoming. That's when I realize he won't be able to ward that fast because I'm still close to bot lane. And the middle can go top lane again, spam pings, so Trundle can react. 
Thing is, I know that he that he still has flash, so we'll probably get away from that second gank. As you can see, I break his jump with my knockup. Uses his E, not a perfect E, but still fine, and reforces flash. Lane is still pushed in Trundle's favor, which means that he has to go back now because if he stays, he's gonna lose if he tries to trade and it's impossible not to trade against Trunnel because he has no flash anymore and stuff like that, you know. When he stays, he's gonna die or just starve all the CS that are still there. <clears throat> that means I forced him back. Let's see here. Yes, he's going back. Thing is, he doesn't have teleport now anymore, so it's gonna take a while until, go, uh, until he comes back to top lane. But a uh, Crux is spawned, so that's why I'm gonna do Crux right now. And my thought here was that I'll want to take uh, Raptors and then try mid lane gank or something like that. Thing is, yeah, literally gank mid lane in that second. So, my next thought was why not try the top lane again. He still didn't ward because he had no time to because I was here as soon as he teleported. And this should be the timing when he should come like in around 5 seconds. Let's see where he is. Slow that down. Yep, yeah, 5 seconds is fine. 5 seconds he will be here. Maybe try to kill my tunnel, who knows. Alright, let's see. stay a while because I know he will come. There he is. And just as I thought he wants to take my tunnel, that's why I tunnel behind him. He doesn't have flash anymore. I could break his jump if he would have tried to jump over me here. I knock him up. Slow him with red buff. And of course I try to give uh, Trunnel that kill. That's why I don't auto attack right now. I tank a tower hit. I Trunnel kill it. And just just move out. Now that's the point where I go back probably because I've uh, enough gold to buy stuff. Let's speed this up quickly. This is probably where I found the bottom jungle. See, so yeah, my, my blue is still up, I don't know why. Um, literally could have easily stolen it when she saw me top that often. But somehow she didn't, even though mid lane was dead and stuff. I think that's just a bad chase. She could have easily stolen that, seeing me top lane so often. <clears throat> um, at this point, Nar only framed in chat. He wrote stuff like, you fucking bastard, if I remember correctly, and like, Nidalee is AFK and stuff. Even though Nidalee is clearly not AFK, he's farming her jungle, and she ganked mid lane and even got a kill there. So yeah, I'm continuing to farm, and I'll probably try to gank the end here after taking the scuttle crap. Yeah, right, I'm taking scuttle crap. And now I try to gank mid lane because I'm on my way to the upper jungle anyway, so why not get a gank in between? First, ganking Limp Long is really, really hard, and that would have never worked. But I at least pressured it for a few seconds. This is where I'm gonna take Raptors, and I'm already keeping an eye on top lane again, because top lane is still already, so I want to keep on ganking him. And I'm probably gonna do Crux now and then go top lane, or even skip Crux. No, I'm doing Crux right. Yeah, I do Crux because the lane is pushing in Gnar's favor. So if I go there now, there's no way of killing him really. Maybe if he reacts late, but you don't want to play as enemies would be bad. So the lane is pushed, that's why I'm gonna go for a lane gank right here. Lane is pushed so far that I could get in the into the second rush right here, which I'm gonna do I think. Yep, that minion dies, I go in the second rush. And Trunnel engages. This is where Syndra pings um, that mid lane is missing. Which 99% means that she's gonna go bot lane. Let's go back 15 seconds so we can see where she goes. I think I also saw that, yeah, she moved here and there's no blue buff up anymore. So our plan will 100% be ganking top lane. Um, and we will see that in Gnar's behavior in a few seconds. Okay, I'm waiting here because I now know that 
Yeah, see? Gnar is going aggressive now. In a whole, in a, num in a complete 1v1 right now, Trundle would still win even though he's low. Because he has this ult up and stuff like that. No way Gnar is going to win this, in my opinion. Um, yeah, that's when I realized that LeBlanc is going to come because he plays that way. He wouldn't play that aggressive if LeBlanc would not come. Alright, I still wait. Let him wait a little more. Channel in. Breaks his jump. If he even tries to jump. No, he doesn't try to jump. And we have so much time because we're both level 6 and he's level 5. He has no chance to live through that gank. Liplog comes and thinks, oh shit, my Gnar top laner sucks. I will just leave again. <laughs> and Gnar is on full tilt. Gnar is still level 5, still only 38 CS against 48 CS and 3 kills advantage. He won't be able to do anything this game anymore. And that's where top lane is like completely won. At this point Trundle can easily split push all game long. And will always force either the the jungler or the mid laner on top lane. But he won't need help at this point anymore. He's ahead like 20 CS and 3 kills. Hey, that's <laughs> that's pretty much how you snowball a single lane or tilt the enemy rather. <laughs> okay, what am I doing here? I think I'm... Okay, he told me that there's a ward but that's not even true and there's no ward. I think we even dive him next. Yep, looks like I'm going to again. There's the solo kill. Um, I still go for Trundle because... <laughs> Not a bad try, because I'm scared that like the Blanc or Nidalee will go here and try to kill him. So I um, recall right next to him while being burrowed, so I can see see people incoming here, even though we have no wards. And yeah, that's that's a pretty much for snowballing top lane. Okay, here Nidalee tries to invade my my blue, which is her death pretty much because I still have flash. I'm just waiting until I can knock her up again. No idea why she tried out attacking there. The out attacks were her death. <laughs> Which is now free kill for Syndra. And Syndra will be ahead in lane now. She's 1 1. And LeBlanc is 0 1 because Nidalee took the kill on that first game in mid lane. At this point, the game is pretty much over. If we don't like throw extremely hard the game is over even that's not even good like he just reset his kill goal now he was he was 0-4 three kills by my gangs one solo kill by Trundle and now he just reset his gold which means that I'm just gonna gank top lane again and kill him next time which I'm probably gonna do Wait a second didn't even want to make this video this long yep Trundle's coming back to lane I go top lane and that's another easy kill for us. Nowhere near Mega Gnar. There's no HP, it's underleveled. Won't be able to do anything. I grab my assist with my with my Q. And that's it for, for Gnar. This pretty much continues for the whole game. Trunnel's just gonna split push all the way down to their base tower, then we're gonna take all the all the Drakes, the um Rift Herald, just because they always have to send two or three people top to cope with uh, Trundle. And this is how you win a game by snowballing single lane. Alright guys, um, I hope that was somewhat helpful. Tell me in the comments if you want to see more of these. I hope I did it well enough, like explained everything I thought. And I hope it helps you. Alright, um, hope you liked it and see you in one of my next videos. Bye bye.